Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play New Horizons. Last time we continued the travel preparations uh, for going all around the world. Uh, we completed part one of the money uh, route that we take, the money machine as I like to call it. And uh, we're now going to complete the second part. I apologize last time for... Um, let's see what we got here. Well, there's another guy that I actually wanted to defeat. I apologize last time, viewers, um, for... Uh, darting uh, right at the end of last episode, I um, I just completely realized I was running out of time. So I'm sorry about that. I'm going to win this battle very quickly, and then I'm going to meet you guys in the port of Madeira, and I'm going to sell my glass beads. So I will be right back. Okay, folks, sorry about that. I'm actually not going to head to Madeira just yet. I'm going to look into this uh, alley and see if uh, we can figure out... Um, if we can hire this guy. We're also going to start looking for Willem Hain, too, because he's uh, they're both good guys that we can have on our team. Both have really high seamanship. Okay, and the Dutch are now mad at us because we have killed a few of their guys. That's all right. And nope, not there. You got to check in either the cafe or the, or the uh, inn. Okay, yeah, the Dutch are still mad at us. We still haven't found an Italian yet. I hope the king isn't getting mad at us. Oh, hey, I remember this guy. This is Olgu Alley. I remember this guy. He's a pirate. We beat him up earlier. Let's see if he'll join us. Something tells me I doubt it, but... Yeah, okay. Well, that's all right. Let's see if, we, see if he can give us any information about where some other guys might be. Always a good idea to do this to see if there's any... If there's anybody around. Hmm. Yes, okay, we know about Dublin. Thank you. Tell us about something else. Yeah, Tomine sucks. We're not going to hire him. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Give me something useful. No. There we go. Hey, Bristol. I know where that is. We need to go fight. We need to go hire this guy. Better be quick, though, before the Dutch re recruit him. So, that's awesome, folks. This is exciting. All right. Well, we couldn't get all good, but we could get the guy that I really wanted to get, which is Julian Felmer. So, he's got pretty good seamanship. And he becomes loyal to you pretty much right away. So,. Okay, we're going to head up here. There's Bristol right up there. So hopefully we haven't missed him. Oh, there's Dublin. Okay, we'll stop here. Now let's head over to the cafe. And hopefully he's still here. Yes, there he is. Excellent. Okay, let's go, we'll go gossip around and see if there's anybody else that we can hire. Something tells me I doubt it. It'll probably be a lot of the same information. Yeah, okay, so... Well, let's quickly treat this guy and get him on our team. And he apparently takes a lot to get him drunk. I mean, to inspire him. And 50 gold pieces a month? Yeah, we'll take that. All right. This guy, I really like this guy. He's got good seamanship. And, um, again, he can kind of help us relieve some of the duties of some of our other guys. So, decent seamanship. And uh, I think he becomes loyal to you pretty much right away. Okay, no, maybe not, but... It won't take long for him to become loyal to us, so. Okay. Well, I'll, let's see. Let's see if I need to put him on a ship just yet. Let's, uh, let's see how he does. All right, Aloigi. We'll get you back on a ship there in a minute, buddy. But in the meantime, we'll continue to build his stats. We'll make him chief navigator. Yeah, because we want to get uh, uh, the loyalty of Julian up to the max as quickly as possible. All right. Well, I'll do a little bit more off-screening looking for Willem Hain, see if he shows up. But uh, I will meet you guys back uh, now in Madeira for sure this time. But unless And if I find Willem Hain, I'll uh, show you that when I get to Madeira. So I'll meet you there for sure. All right, folks, we're back, and we're here in the port of Madeira. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to get the maximum amount of money that we can uh, and start to really make some serious cash. Now... You remember before that I bought these glass beads. So what we're going to do now is we're going to slow, we're going to sell them just a little bit at a time. And the reason that we're going to do that, actually first, let me just make sure I can buy gold here. I'm pretty sure I can. Um, no, no, where is it? Okay, good. So what we're going to do here is we're going to um, sell a little bit at a time because you're going to notice that the market rate is going to slowly start to drop. And we want that to drop a lot because what's going to happen is that's going to make the price of goods really, really cheap. 
And we're going to do this because we want to really drive down the price of gold. And uh, the reason for that is, obviously, if we if we buy it, if we sell it, at, buy it at a cheap price, we'll sell it for a cheap price. So, if we go to buy goods, and already the price is really low. Yeah, 539 gold pieces for gold, and we already are going to get a bit of a discount on it. Yeah, 431, and we're going to sell it for about 1100. So that's a pretty huge deal. So, okay. And we're going to buy a couple of boatloads of this. Uh, let me do some rearranging of my cargo to make sure that I have a full ship's worth. But yeah, we are going to... Uh, let's see... Uh, not that one. Let's do... Okay, I'll do this one this way. Um, now let's see here. There we go. And uh, we're really going to want to drive the price down. I'm sorry. I'm getting lost in my thoughts here. Uh, we're going to buy a couple of boatloads worth so that we can sell them and make a lot of money, essentially, uh, is what we're going to do there. So I'm sorry about that. Sometimes I get kind of lost in my thoughts. Yeah, it's still pretty cheap for gold. I'm going to even buy three boatloads worth. We'll see. 504. Actually, I'll probably just buy two boatloads worth because I don't want to spend the time. Yeah, that's good. that'll be good enough. All right. Now, we'll probably be able to make about 100 and... 20 gold bars off of this gold ingots. It's pretty exciting. Okay, so we're going to log of goods. Copenhagen will be the best place. All right, fair enough. It's back to Copenhagen then. And actually, you can pretty much go to any port in Northern Europe. It really doesn't matter. Um, I'll probably go to somewhere a little bit closer just because I'm lazy. And let's go up here. In fact, we'll just head up to Bordeaux. That's fine. Let's see, we'll head right over here. That's just stuff here, that's fine. And I'm going to sell part of my gold, or sell my gold here. All right, and we'll sell one boatload here. Yeah, look at this. Boom, already made our money back and some. Now we'll be able to um, go and sell the rest of it and we'll, be, we'll have a lot of money. We'll be good to go for uh, the next part of our voyage, which is exciting. I need to repay my loan. See, it's gone a little bit up because I forgot about my interest. So I'll just pay it all back. All right. Excellent. Now I don't owe any money to anybody, which is a good thing. Okay. I will uh, go up to Copenhagen. I'm going to sell my gold there. Then I'll meet you guys back in Lisbon. Uh, it's just, it's the first port that we saw right to the northeast of Madeira, in case you don't forget, or in case you have forgotten. So I'm going to do that because there's uh, one thing I need to take care of Lisbon. And, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, one thing I'm going to do while I'm here is I'm going to buy some balm. We haven't done that yet. So uh, just a reminder, always want to have about four or five balms with you uh, when you go out sailing because um, you never know when you're going to run into a storm. So I always like to carry about four. Um, usually that's about enough to do a full journey um, around the world. So, Okay, one more and then I should be good. Again, viewers, if you've seen this again, if you've seen this before, I apologize. Um, I'm just doing this for the new people that have, might not have seen any of my walkthroughs and are just wanting to watch Pietros because they're stuck on his quest or something like that. So, Okay, I'll meet you guys back in Lisbon now, and I'm going to take care of business once I get back there. Okay, we're here in Lisbon, and um, what I forgot to do last time was I forgot to sell my discoveries to... Um, to back to the Duchess. So we only found a couple during our trip to the uh, to the Nile River, but it's something. And they can they might be able to help us with waitresses. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so we got a little bit more money, and we'll get a little bit more fame and adventure, which is... Okay, it's always a good thing. Yep, it's going up. Okay, uh, I think we're about done with our travel prep. Uh, oh, by the way, you notice that I now have 224 gold ingots. Uh, I wasn't able to find the person I was looking for, uh, Willem Hain. I think he went back to London, or to London, to uh, Holland to get back with his fleet. So, oh well, what are you going to do? But that's okay. Um, yeah, we're doing pretty well. So, since we're done with our travel prep, I'm going to go ahead and stop right here. Uh, next time, I may get in a battle with an Italian fleet if I find one. But uh, if not, then we're going to start sailing and exploring the world in the next episode. But until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.